Today I will discuss about how to calculate contact lens power. Generally we wear spectacle 12 to 14 mm away from our eyes. But there is no significant gap between cornea and contact lens due to which contact lens power is different from spectacle power. Spectacle power may be only spherical, only cylindrical or spherocylindrical. The formula to identify contact lens power is sp divided by 1 minus sp multiplied by vd here sp is equal to spectacle power and vd is equal to vertex distance in meter now let's see how to convert spherical spectacle power into contact lens power suppose spectacle power is both i minus 5 and vertex distance is 12 mm what will be the estimated contact lens power The formula is sp divided by 1 minus sp multiplied by vd here sp that is spectacle power equal to minus 5 and vd is vertex distance that is 12 mm or 0.012 meter according to formula contact lens power equal to minus 5 divided by 1 minus minus 5 multiplied by 0.012 or contact lens power equal to minus 5 divided by 1 plus 5 multiplied by 0.012 or contact lens power is equal to minus 5 divided by 1 plus 0.06 or contact lens power is equal to minus 5 divided by 1.06 or contact lens power is equal to minus 4.72 diopter Contact lens power is available in 0.25 steps. So -4.25 is not available. Either we have to give -4.5 or -4.75. The closest power is -4.75. So estimated contact lens power for -5 is -4.75. Now let's see how to convert cylinder and spherical cylinder spectacle power into contact lens power. Steps of conversion. Step 1 Make a optical cross and distribute the power meridian wise. Step 2 Convert spectacle power into contact lens power in each meridian using the formula sp divided by 1 minus sp multiplied by vd. Step 3 Convert the optical cross into spherical cylindrical form to get final contact lens power. Now step 1 Let's take an example for understanding purpose. Our spherical cylindrical power is minus five with minus three at one eighty degree axis. Now let's make a optical cross and distribute the power in meridian wise. Here minus five is spherical power, so it will be in both meridian. Here in minus five and here also minus five, and minus three at one eighty degree, so the power will be here in vertical meridian minus three. In vertical meridian we have total power minus eight, and in horizontal meridian we have total power minus five. Now let's move to step two. If we convert the spectacle power minus five into contact lens power using the formula sp divided by one minus sp multiplied by vertex distance, then it becomes minus five divided by one minus minus five multiplied by zero point zero one two. most common vertex distance is 12 mm and if we convert it into meter it become 0.012 meter now minus 5 divided by 1 minus minus 0.06 or minus 5 divided by 1 plus 0.06 or minus 5 divided by 1.06 which is equal to 4.716 or 4.75 diopter now if we convert minus 5 into contact lens power it will become minus 4.75 and again if we follow the same formula for minus 8 it will become minus 7.25 diopter now in horizontal meridian we have contact lens power minus 4.75 and in vertical meridian we have contact lens power minus 7.25 now let's move to step 3 Now let's consider horizontal meridian as spherical meridian and vertical as a cylinder meridian. 
so in horizontal meridian we have minus 4.75 so our spherical power will be minus 4.75 as spherical power present in all meridian same so we need to subtract the spherical power from cylindrical meridian also so in the cylindrical meridian we will have final power minus 7.25 minus minus 4.75 or minus 2.50 diopter cylinder the final spherical cylinder contact lens power will be minus 4.75 spherical minus 2.50 cylinder at 180 degree axis so initially our spherical cylindrical power was minus 5 with minus 3 at 180 degree axis after converting into contact lens power it becomes minus 4.75 spherical with minus 2.50 cylinder at 180 degree axis stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly